Before April showers bring May flowers, they could bring enough water to overwhelm the city's sewers. To help prevent this from happening, the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District has dubbed this month Overflow Action Awareness Month. WTTW News reporter Patty Wetley joins us now with more. So Patty, if we see a lot of rainfall this April, what could happen? You know, because the city system combines our wastewater and stormwater, uh, when we get these heavy, quick rains that can really overwhelm the system. And in some of the rainiest months, um, they've had to let some of that overflow into the Chicago River and the Little Calumet. Um, and by overflow, we are talking about wastewater and sometimes untreated sewage. So uh, that's not a good thing for our waterways. Certainly not what you want in the river. So what does MWRD and Friends of the Chicago River suggest that folks do to help control this? Right, so they're getting out ahead of this because these can be some of the upcoming rainiest, wettest months in Chicago. Get you to sign up for these um, river at overflow action days. There's a link on um, our website in the story to that. And it'll give you some tips for some short term things you can do on those days when you get a notification, like maybe hold off on doing laundry or stop, you know, running the faucet when you're brushing your teeth. But also to get people to think about some longer term solutions like planting rain gardens, if that's an option or also um, disconnecting your downspout from the sewer system and maybe reconnecting it to a rain barrel instead, just to keep as much water as possible out of that combined system on super rainy days. All right, good things to think about and we'll check out the story. Patty, thanks so much. Thanks, Paris. And you can read that aforementioned full story on our website where you can also find out how to register for virtual tours with the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District. It's all at WTTW.com news.